question is clear q using stack q using stack okay so stack we have already covered so in the stack what we can do let's see we cannot use array we cannot use linked list we just need to uh means we just need to use that stack data structure only okay let's see what is stack do let's say i'm adding a data one i'm pushing one to it i'm pushing two to it i'm pushing three okay let's say if i'm trying to pop something so which data will be popped first this three but in the case of q if i'm trying to pop or dq something which data need to be uh, deleted from the q it should be one okay so we have not given it any other data structure so i'm limited to use the stack data structure only am i audible now can somebody confirm it there was some network issue i think it is fine now okay so at this time we are using stack data structure and we are trying to create a queue with uh, with that data structure okay let's see uh, we are using two stack let's say stack 1 stack s1 let's say i'm using calling it s1 and the another stack s2 okay let's see uh, i'm removing it for now let's see the data one needs to be inserted after that two needs to be inserted three and four in this order only okay let's see i want to add something in our s1 so for that what i need to do i just if s1 is empty i'll insert s1 i'll insert 1 to s1 okay but if i want to insert at this point if i want to know if i want to delete something from our uh, queue let's say this is our queue uh, s1 is our queue if i want to delete something from our queue we'll just pop from uh, pop one from here because there is only one data and if there is only one data in our queue if we try to perform dq for it the data will be deleted let's say one is being added and after that i want to add two to our queue okay so what i'm going to do before adding two to this queue uh, two to this stack so for outers it is queue for us it is stack because uh, we can perform only the operation of stack here we cannot perform the operation of q here so for for the others we are trying to create an q and dq function so that they can perform an q and dq operation on the onto the stack although they will not get to know whether we are using stack or uh, q here okay let's say i want to add two here so i am saying before adding two remove all the data and push it into the stack 2 okay so one will be removed from here and one will be pushed to the stack okay if this s1 is empty now push 2 to it okay now after pushing 2 to it let me erase it first okay let me quickly draw it again for you let's see this is the stack so one will be popped from here and it will be pushed to s2 and two will be added here okay now after adding two after pushing two to it now push all the data of s2 to s1 again so only one data is in s2 so one will be added here it will be removed from here okay so at this point if someone asks us to dq an uh, element from our queue so one is the first element if we need to dq we'll just remove that one because one has added at the front means it is the first and first out operation 
it is inserted at the first after that the two is being inserted okay okay let's see one is here okay let's say now three needs to be added at this position three needs to be added so before adding three what you do you just push uh, push all the uh, value of s1 to s2 let's say one one will be added because one will be pop first and it will be pushed into the stack after that two will be pushed so all this value will be popped from here and it will be pushed into this s2 stack and i'm now i'm saying push three to it and again complete all the complete data of uh, this s2 push to s1 okay so two will be pushed first and after that one will be added okay and it will be popped from here so now we are seeing that yes we are getting the q means we are try we are we can perform the operations of q here means it's just just like same the q but we are doing it i uh, mean it is a costly for you for us because we are performing every time we are performing an operation so it will be big of n of and for the dq it will be big of one because if we are trying to delete something just remove it from the upper okay two and three will be there into our queue if after that you want to delete something try to delete this the two will be deleted after that if you want to delete three you can pop that value from it okay is that clear okay so let's quickly try to design it okay so uh, for that i'm going to use my stl stl stack although you can use uh, your uh, pre your designed stack as well if you try if you want for make it it's uh, making it simple i'm going to use stl stack okay let's see let me check with it the comment from here okay so i stream and q is there let's see my end function is there let me use class for it also let's say i'm creating a class class q what this class q is having class q is having push stack data member stack it will be type of end okay although you can use template as well uh, let's say for now i'm using uh, for now i'm using integer only two stacks will be there okay now to make it public what i'm going to do void n q okay. so what i'm going to do for n q operation what i'm saying before uh let's say data will be passed from here the data that needs to be added into our queue in stl is every data structure made with linked list no it's not uh, we are not sure about it because uh, stl has not revealed with us means whether it is continuous or not i think in the previous sessions also ashish has asked this whether the data is being stored into the continuous man, uh, continuous uh, memory or it is just a discrete so we are not sure about it because whether it used linked list or array okay so what i'm going to do it here so, so i'm going to check let's see what i'm going to do while s1 is not empty so in the first case s1 will be empty itself so it, this loop will be not called means it will not iterate while s1 is empty what you need to do int a a is equal to s1 dot top because we all know that it's a stack and we can know we can get to know about the top value using top function okay int a is equal to s1 dot top and what you need to do s2 dot push that a push that a to s2 okay and pop that value from s1 okay. if 
all the completes value from S1, if it is pushed popped from S1 and it is it is being pushed into S2, now our S1 is empty. Now what you need to do? You just need to push that data into Q into our stack again until our S2 is not empty. Or S2 is not empty, perform the same operation, uh, means push, uh, pop all the data from S2 and push it into S1. Okay, push into S1, S2 dot pop. Okay, so let me write a statement here stack inserting inserting data okay it should be right here so we use semicolon here because it's our class so what i'm going to do i'm going to design our dq function as well Take any argument. Let's see. If our stack is empty, means S1 is empty. What it means? It means there is nothing in our stack. We, we can write that Q is empty because for outers it is Q. Q is empty. Okay. And it should return from here. It should not do anything. If it is not empty, what it needs to do let's see a print and statement see how deleting that s1 dot top okay. slash n here and pop that s1 dot pop okay let's see i'm I want to design and print function here. But we are having stack and we know if we try to uh, means traverse our stack will loss our data. So here we what we are going to do we are going to create a temporary stack. Stack of end it will be temp. We'll copy all the data of S1 to it for our convince we are using a temp and saying until temp is not empty see out print temps data temp dot sorry it should be temp dot top and here it should be pop because after printing the top of that uh, stack you just need to pop from that stack okay here i should be writing a statement that printing temp dot top okay yes temp dot top because we are using stl printing the data the Q. Okay. okay so what we are getting okay we are using stack and we have not included a stack so let's me write stack here because we are not using Q into it okay let me use Q as well because although in that case Q will not be used but for if you're trying to run this code for that the Q will be used so I'm writing both for it okay oh we have not designed our main function so can't we do it using one stack Yes, there is uh, one way of doing it using one stack. 
but for today i'll say you try it first in the next uh, session we'll try to do that we'll, because it will be a time consuming we'll try to do that as well Arin. don't worry about it. okay i have again lost my group chat okay so what it is saying stack does not name a type here again stack we have included stack so again it is saying stack does not name a type here why stack slash include stack okay should be using i think this as well Although we have not designed our main function, so nothing will be printed. So again, what it is saying, see out temp dot top. Okay, I should be using parenthesis here. Okay, let's quickly write our main function. Let me create. Let me create an object of Q class. Q, Q dot NQ. Let's see ten. Again, I'm NQing ten to it. Let's say twenty. Dot NQ twenty. Let me copy and paste it. Quickly. Three, four. Okay, so friend, friend. Okay, let's see. Okay, so what we are getting? Inserting ten, inserting twenty, inserting thirty, forty. So ten, twenty, thirty, and fourteen is being inserted here. Okay, let's check whether our DQ is working or not. Let's say Q. Or DQ. D, let's say okay. For DQ, we don't need to pass anything. Let's say I'm trying to write DQ here. So the ten should be deleted. Okay, it's printing ten deleted. Deleting ten, printing the date of the Q. Okay. So let's see. Let's check whether if I'm trying to delete something from here. If there is nothing in our queue, it should print a statement that our queue is empty. So it is printing that our queue is empty. Okay, is that clear with everyone now? We have uh, created queue using stack, and one more thing is there: uh, create stack using queue. We'll do that as well in the upcoming session. Is this is this function is clear?